Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? <laughs> how are you, Javier? I, I, am, I am by boost teacher. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. It, it, it is trying. Está lloviendo, teacher, aquí afuera. It's raining, raining. Ajá. Y estoy también mojado. ¿Cómo se dice mojado? I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm wet. Ok. Se lo voy a escribir aquí en el chat. Sí, I am wet. Uh -huh. So, are you connected from the cell phone? Yes, teacher. Oh, I'm ok. My with, with, with date. Oh, ok. Um, we're going to wait for your classmates. Hopefully, they're going to join us. Uh, so, are you going home or where are you going? Uh, I, I uh, have teacher be, be my house. Oh, Estaba you. Oh, uh -huh. you were. Uh, Estaba en su casa or you are going to your house? I am going to my house, teacher. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, no worry, anything, um, just stay here and we can talk, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, esperemos que sus compañeros se conecten, and si no, le va a tocar a usted estar participando. Chévere, teacher, no hay problema, aunque sea aquí en el bus, pero le damos. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, no problem, no problem. All right, okay. So, Okay, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. So in the meantime, I'm going to show my presentation, okay? Uh, let me show my presentation. Yes, teacher. Ya ya terminé el midterm. Oh, okay, good. That's good. That's very good. All right. So no worries then. Um, el, just stay eh, there. El I can see. Problema, mm -hmm. El único problema que estamos teniendo es que hay una parte de los ejercicios, el número del numeral 5, mm -hmm. que varios no lo hemos podido resolver. Uh, okay. Um, ¿Cuál? Ok, déjeme ver, déjeme ver, voy a ver, ejercicio 5. Ok, hagamos algo, los últimos 10 de la clase eh, los vamos a ocupar para, para resolver ese problema, ¿le parece? Ah, chévere, Ok, ok, ok. So, welcome Miguel, welcome Osman, how are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. It's, Thanks. Okay. ok, good, good. How are you, Miguel? Good evening, teacher. You Thanks, know what? Uh, I'm fine. You know what? I don't have any tie. And I see that you have a lot of teachers. ties over there. Yes. Teacher, uh, the, tonight uh, we are only class, classmates, three classmates. Yes, only three people. So that means that the class is going raining. to be very interactive. I, I don't think, know. I think the problem is raining in other city. Oh, yeah. For example, Javier. Javier is telling me that it's been raining. It's been raining. And uh, I don't know where Javier in is. My, but... In my city, mm -hmm. in my city raining uh, two, uh, two hours ago. More or less hard. More or less, like two hours. Okay. Okay. Hours, uh, yeah. You are from, where are you from, Osman? Uh, Congo City. My city is near Santana City. Oh, what about you, Miguel? Uh, what about your place? Has been has it been raining? Yeah, it's raining right now. Uh, in this moment, not raining very hard, but raining so so. Uh, 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 one hour uh, ago, uh, raining very hard here. I live in, in Soyapango. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Also, here in Morazan, it was raining. I mean, my place where I lived, uh, it rained for almost what two hours, two hours, two hours or more. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, uh, Miguel, I was telling you that I can see that you have a lot of tides. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of tides over there on the wall behind you. Yeah. And you have a lot of tides. And I don't have any. So maybe maybe you can sell me one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I use the tire because I am in, in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. I was a missionary and I need use oh, a tie every day. Okay. And I have the ties for, uh, I don't know, how do you say recuerdo? As a souvenir. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Souvenir. Because okay. si estamos hablando de, no, no, no. But in that case, that would be as a memory. Como una memoria, como un recuerdo, mm -hmm. memory. Porque souvenir, okay. souvenir es, por ejemplo, cuando usted va, digamos, a, digamos que vaya a Guatemala y compra un recuerdito de esos chiquititos. Eso sí oh, es yeah. un souvenir, como, un recuerdo. Como un llavero. Yo, Ajá, exactly. Eso es un souvenir. Uh, su micrófono se apagó. Souvenir, sí. Souvenir. Ese es como un pequeño oh, rec Ajá, recuerdito. recuerdito. I, uh, okay, for, I... me, uh, uh, for me, souvenir, I understand it's like uh, artesanía in El Salvador. No. No, no. I mean, it's part of it. Ok. Si es artesanía, eso es craft. Mm -hmm. ah, craft. So it's different. craft yeah that's different souvenir puede ser cualquier recuerdito puede ser un llavero, puede ser una pulsera okay. puede ser uh, un comalito chiquitito, de esos comalitos que son de recuerdito que dice el salvador ah, yes. those they are souvenir souvenir mm -hmm. okay. okay so welcome okay. everyone uh, the, it's good to see you Osman I can see Miguel I can see Javier I can see Jacqueline as well. And also I can see Jose Jovito. Uh -huh. Ya estaba un poco preocupado porque no, no, solamente yo era. And I was like, where is everyone? Where is everybody? ¿Eh? <laughs> yeah. El internet, bueno, por aquí está lloviendo y está un poquito difícil el internet ahorita. Oh, oh, me imagino. Yeah, uh -huh. I guess Osman, Osman told me that it has been raining a lot. And also I said that here in Chilanga, Morazan, it rained like for two hours, but it was, it was from what? From four o'clock till six. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's good to see you all. Okay, uh, let's get started to today's class. So how are you today, Jacqueline? Hi, teacher. I, I'm fine, teacher. Oh, okay, good, good. Um, okay, good. Welcome, everyone. All right. So today we will talk about a, one topic. And the topic is if you get a better job. That's the topic that we are going to be talking about today. If you get a better job. Yeah. Okay, if you get a better job. Indeed, what we're going to be talking is, this is the objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with if clauses. So basically what we're going to be doing is we are going to be talking about what happens if something else happens. How that situation can affect my life my personal job, my house, my family. So basically we're gonna be talking about that, how conditional sentence can affect my life. All right, that's the objective. Um, and of course, we are going to talk about, or we are going to review previous learning. And do you remember that yesterday we talked about what? We talked about, um, um time expressions the you remember time? Uh, the time yes expression. time expressions good and we mentioned that there are many time expressions i time expressions for simple past for simple present and also for the future okay okay also we learned that for example for example okay for example, if I'm using if I'm using a time expression to express simple past, uh, can you give me one expression? 
uh, time expression for a simple past. One expression. I was starting last night. Uh, no, 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 no. Only tell me a time expression. Time expression. Uh, yesterday, okay. teacher. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Yesterday. Okay, good. Yesterday. Um, and also, I said that every, for example, if we are using time expression to express uh, sentences in the past, the verb will go in simple past. What about a time expression to express the simple present? Yes. Time now, teacher. Good. What about the future? In one week, one week in one next week, for week, example, teacher. for the next week. Okay, good. So we have in a week from now or next week. Okay, good. Um, what, what, what? Eventually. Eventually, yes, eventually. Yeah, that can be one. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. All right, can you give me one sentence to express uh, as a compliment this one? Yesterday, what? Uh, can we choose a topic? Vamos a ver. Podemos escoger un topic. Aquí tenemos education, entertainment, environment, fashion, food, housing, shopping, sports, and technology. What is the meaning housing? Uh -huh. oh, housing. Me? Okay, when we talk housing. about housing, eh, nos estamos refiriendo a vivienda. Vivienda. Okay. Ok, no vayan a pensar algo así como casando, ¿verdad? Como house es casa. Entonces, housing es casando, no. Ok, housing, <risa> en este caso, housing es un nombre. Y el nombre es vivienda, housing. Uh -huh. Ok, vivienda. Ok, ¿qué les parece si hablamos de shopping? Ok, what about shopping in the past? Ah... Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to change yesterday, but I said in the past, okay? ¿Quién me puede dar uh, una oración? Uh -huh. In the past, how was shopping like in the past? How was shopping like in the past? ¿Cómo era en el pasado? Las compras. In the past. Yes. Okay, how about that one? In the past, people used to buy. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo solían comprar ellos? In a, in a only, small with store. only cash, teacher. Oh, okay, using cash. O podríamos decir going to the mall. O going to the mall. Mm -hmm. Used to buy using cash, or people used to used to go, used to go to the mall. Okay, how about now? What about now? We can use uh, some ways for pay. Okay, yes, people use different ways to buy. What about in the future? What do you think? What about in the future? How would... Um, Only buy online, uh -huh. teacher. Uh, okay. Shopping will be completely, right? Porque ahorita podemos, podemos comprar en línea, podemos ir a las tiendas, but, but probably in the future, shopping will be completely 
completely online. See? Okay. All right, good. So remember, we were talking about that uh, yesterday, but today uh, we are going to move on to another topic. Okay, vamos a ver. Okay, we're going to play a game now, and it's uh, we're going to answer some questions. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to choose, I'm going to look for the website, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. I'm going to start sharing uh, the following, okay? The following, okay? Give me a second. Uh, let me see. First conditional. Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to what? Uh, we are going to um, spin the, the roulette or spin the wheel in this case, spin the wheel. And the answer or the question that is right there, you will need to answer that question. All right. Okay, let me spin the wheel. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, let me see. Miguel, can you read the question? Or can you read the sentence? Yes. If you don't eat breakfast tomorrow, will you feel hungry? Okay. Can you answer that question, Miguel? Yes. Uh, maybe I, I, in my case, usually I don't eat breakfast uh, because I don't feel hungry for don't eat the breakfast. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Choose one of your classmates, Miguel. One. Sorry? I don't listen to you. Choose one of your classmates. Choose one. Uh, Osman Enrique. Okay. Uh, I, I have to read a question, right? Yes. What about now? Okay. Read the question okay. and answer that question. Okay. If you want to relax after class, what will you watch on TV? Let me see. I going to watch uh, a movie. What uh, what movie? Ah, what movie? Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of, a lot of kind of movie I, I like. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I would like review a uh, gladiator. Oh, the gladiator. Okay, good. Okay, Gladiator. Osman. Okay, good. okay, thank you, Osman. Uh, choose one of your classmates, Osman. Okay, okay. Jose Jovito Torres. It's your turn. Okay, thank you, Osman. Okay, okay, Jose Jovito. Okay. Read and answer that question. What would your teacher say is you are late tomorrow? Uh huh. Answer that question. Mm, for for tomorrow, right? For late tomorrow. Uh, that's a, a sentence. Just a simple sentence. What will your teacher say if you are late tomorrow? 
he, in my case, is um, one class for grammar. Okay, no, the question says, ¿Qué le dirá su maestro si usted viene tarde mañana? Let's say, if you had an English class tomorrow. Okay. Castigado. Yes, I see. What, 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 what? Yes, I see. You mean like grounded? Sí, you... Grounded, como castigado? Grounded? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Thank you, uh -huh. Jovito. Jovito, choose okay. one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Ok, y Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio. Ok, Miguel Antonio. Miguel, Miguel. Ok, ok. Uh, read and ask for Read. Uh, if yes. you get a new pet... What will it be? Well, uh, I have a dog and my little sister won a hamster. Hamster is the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. hamster. Yeah, hamster. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Oh. She won a hamster. Oh, she wants a, a hamster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. So choose one of your classmates. Uh, Jacqueline and Stephanie. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, can you read and answer the question? If you feel bored next Saturday, what will you do? Probably, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, if I feel bored next Saturday, probably I don't. How can I say salir out, teacher? Wow. Uh, pero como diría? Go out. ¿Que quiere ir o no, no quiere saldría. ir? No, oh, no saldría. Oh, I wouldn't go out. I wouldn't go out. I wouldn't go out because mm -hmm. I, I feel angry. Oh, why? Why would you feel angry? I don't like go out. If I feel bored, eso me pone enojada salir si estoy aburrido. Oh, ruido. okay. If you are bored, if you are bored, mm -hmm. you don't want to go out because that makes you feel angry. Si está aburrida. Yes, ah, okay. Yes. Interesting. Okay, Jacqueline, choose one of your classmates. Eh, Daniel Martinez. Daniel, are you there, Daniel? He's gone. Daniel, he's gone. Or Javier Escobar. Hey, Javier. <ríe> Alguien parece que se acaba de bañar ahorita. Qué, qué, qué raro, yo lo veo a todos mojados. A ver por qué será, ¿verdad? Que lo veo a todos mojados. <ríe> Uh, it's for raining. I know, I know. Es que, I mean, uh, it's a good um, excuse to get wet para mojarse cuando llueve. <laughs> I know, probably God said, oh, they didn't take a shower in the morning, so I'm going to send them some raining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, Javier. Javier, uh, can you read and answer that question? Yeah. Uh, will you ask our teacher for help if you have a question? Yeah, teacher. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, because uh, uh, if I need more information, uh, um, to to learn me. Okay, teach me, teach me. Teach, mm -hmm. teach me, yeah. More, okay, thank you, okay, thank you. Um, choose another, Javier, Javier, choose somebody else. Creo que esta será la última rondita, o la última ronda. Choose one, Javier. Choose one of your classmates. Sí, sí. 
Daniel ya estuvo. Ah, no sé si Daniel está acá. Sí. ¿Daniel? ¿Está aquí Daniel o no? Martínez. Aquí el otro lo llamamos, pero no estaba. ¿Daniel Martínez? No. Ok, posiblemente Miguel no está. Antonio. Ok, Miguel Antonio. One more time, Miguel Antonio. If you decide to eat out, which restaurant will you go, go to? Mm -hmm. Well, I like it, uh, hamburger. Uh, I think I decide uh, eat um, Burger King. Oh, oh, okay, Burger King. Okay, okay, good. Okay, the last time. Thank you, Miguel. The last one. Choose the last one. Escoja un su compañero. Um, let me see. Uh, Who? Who? Javier Escobar. <laughs> okay, thank you, Miguel. <laughs> es que usted. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. <laughs> What is the next question, teacher? Um, the next question is right there. Uh -huh. When will you go to bed if you are really tired tonight? No, teacher. I really, I, I am tired. Mm. I has been in my house today. Uh, when will you go? When? What time? When? Will you go to bed? What time? Bed. Si, sí, a que horas iría a dormir? Um, I will go to sleep at 11 p.m. Oh, okay, 11. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for participating and answering some questions. Uh, I can see everyone is drinking coffee. Some other are eating, okay? I can see some other eating right now. It's good. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and some other are drinking coffee or I don't know, milk or chocolate and some other are drinking water, yeah, like me me, water, yeah, I love drinking water at night huh, what is that tea? I am drinking milk oh, milk, okay, is that a cow <laughs> milk or a goat milk cow, moo or, or a meh a goat ¿Leche de cabra o leche de vaca? De vaca, teacher. Sorry, sorry, teacher. How do you say sorry, sorry. cabra? Goat. Mm -hmm. Goat. Hola, hola, yes. hola. Yeah, uh, ¿Quién habla? Osman creo que es. Hola, Osman. Dani, Dani. Perdón, perdón. Oh, es que Dani, estaba Dani. Estaba demasiado fuerte que me, me, me costaba restablecer lo del sonido porque tenía problemas. Ah, ok. No, no worries, Daniel. Um, yes, that's what I heard, that it's been raining from, I mean, around your places. And that's why a lot of you are not connected or are having some difficulties with the microphone. But that's okay. No worries, Daniel. Thank you for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, goat. Goat is cabra or cabro. Mm -hmm. Goat. That's why Messi, I don't know why people say that Messi used to be the GOAT. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I, I was drinking uh, milk too, but uh, my sister gave me uh, a, a bowl of milk, but it's the cocoa, <laughs> leche de cocoa. Nunca, nunca había probado, oh, probado coconut leche. milk. Yes, yes. yes, um, yes. It's very it's good. good. That's what I heard. Uh -huh. yes, do you know how to uh, say? Do you know, uh, yes. Do you know how to say ordeñar in English? Ordeñar. Ordeñar. I don't know. Oh, interesting. Well, that is milk. <laughs> milk. Milk is yes. ordeñar. Yes, milk as a noun and milk as a verb. Milk, like, wow. like, uh -huh, like, what, like, I, I am drinking milk. Is the name of the, of the, 
Yeah. And do you know I how to say? I don't teacher. What? I don't understand. Uh, I, I, I know uh, milk uh, is leche. Yes, 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 that's right. Is so, the name just, but, and is the action when you... The action, yes, oh. ordeñar, but also ah, as a noun. Uh, the verb, verb, like verb, like verb is ordeñar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, like milk as a noun. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I can say I, <laughs> I milk the, the cow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am milk. Oh, I, am. I, am milk the the I am milking. Oh. I am milking the goat. I'm milking the goat. Yeah, yeah. Milking. milking. I milked. I milked. I milked the goat. I and milk. by the way, since we're talking about milk, I, I have interesting I have, I have, teacher. I have been milked the cow. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So, um, okay. So. <laughs> Now, I creo que les dije en una ocasión that there are some, sometimes some, um, some words that have different, uh, different meaning, right? Right? Yeah? Yes. Y sabían que, ¿saben qué es esta palabra? ¿Qué significa ahorita que estamos viendo de milk and milk and milk? Milky Way. ¿Saben qué es un Milky Way? Chocolate. No. <laughs> It's not a chocolate. Milky. No, it's not leche batida. Okay, listen. We are in the Milky Way. In the universe, in the universe, we are in the Milky Way. La Vía Láctea. Yes, yes. Wow. Eso es la Vía oh Láctea. Oh Milky goodness. Way. <laughs> Milky Way is a... ¿Se imaginan ustedes? Un, si ustedes... Ah, Milky es leche. Hmm. Y Way es camino, como... Camino lechoso. <laughs> no tiene sentido, ¿ok? Ok, but we live in the Milky Way. Milky Way, que significa vía láctea. Ok. Ok. The name um, of the chocolate is vía láctea in Spanish. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, pero también, también, ok, también. Uh, milky, okay, es que aquí hay algo bueno, but them, I don't know why I'm talking about milk, okay, pero... This conversation is random, teacher. I know, it's, I it's, ran, it's a random conversation, but I think it's very important. <laughs> as far as you are learning, I think... That's yes, good. very okay. important. Milky is the also, best way for learning English. Yes, I, also milky is an adjective, okay, un adjetivo. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Uh -huh. And uh, what do you think? What do you think is the meaning of milky? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Milky. Solo la palabra milky significa lechoso o lechosa. Se sí, uh -huh. iba a decir, pero se, no se pensé que iba a ser muy extraño. No, 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 no. Eso significa milky. Por ejemplo, Como, ustedes pueden like decir. Ajá, uh -huh, as an adjective. Por ejemplo, pueden decir. Imagine this is a bar of chocolate, a chocolate bar. Imagine que esta es una barra de chocolate. Okay? Imagine this is a chocolate bar. Oh, and I say, oh, you know what? This, um, this chocolate bar, it's very milky. Es bien lechosa. Imagínense que sea una barra de chocolate con leche. Uh -huh. Y de, por eso que dice Miguel, ah, o sea que la barra se llama Villa Láctea. No es que se llame Vía Láctea, sino que se llama, es que la barra, el, el, el chocolate es lechoso. Uh -huh. Es decir, que la, el chocolate lleva leche. That's why it's called Milky Way. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. ¿Para qué otras cosas se podría utilizar el adjetivo Milky? Milky, uh, sure. it can be, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I don't know. Uh, um, for example, mango. My mango is uh, milky. No, no, in that case, is not because milky is basically referring to 
milk, leche, pero leche de la leche de la blanca, de la leche ah, de la vaca, de la leche. Es como lactosa. Exacto, lactosa. Ok, ahí está la palabra clave, lactosa. Ajá. Uh, entonces no podemos decir. De su... Ajá. Mango ajá. lechoso. Sí, pero ese otro tipo de leche no, no es la leche, esa la leche que uno... Uh, que uno bebe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Um, I don't know. Uh, that, that's what I'm saying. Why we, we are talking about milk. Milk, milk. Uh -huh. Ok. Anyway. Um, so, thank you for asking and thank you for being interested in learning milk. Oh, I know why. It's because you guys are drinking milk. That's why we're talking about milk. Ok. All right. Anyway. Um, So we are going to continue um, learning today because I have a very interesting topic that is very important that you guys uh, learn how to express it. And it's uh, the conditional. When we're talking about conditional, we are talking about some situations that are not true. But for example, si yo tengo dinero, si yo tengo dinero, yo compro un carro. ¿Tienen dinero? No. That's why you don't, you don't buy a car, right? So those situations que nosotros tenemos, si yo tuviera, yo compraría. Si yo fuera rico, yo construyera. Are you rich? Probably not. Probablemente no, ¿ok? Pero siempre decimos, si yo, si yo fuera, si yo ganara, si yo... So, because we are not that, right? Ok, listen this one, not listen to it, but I would like you to read. Okay, if you get a high paying job, seleccionen qué pasaría en su vida si ustedes uh, obtuvieran un trabajo donde se les pagara mucho más dinero. Mm -hmm. Look at the first one. You will have more cash to spend. You will be able to buy anything you want. Seleccionen las que se, las que se pegarían a ustedes. You will be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You will be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. <laughs> you may get your own office. You won't have as much stress in your life. People will ask you for a loan. And you will have a lot more free time. Ok, ¿cuáles se pegan con ustedes? A ver, ¿cuáles se pegan con ustedes? Mi Osman teacher. Eh, Ajá, Osman. Eh, I, I think like, the, 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 the money is important, it's the truth, right? Uh, but uh, but uh, I would like to have more time. More, more free time. Okay, so that one would be, if you get a high paying job, you will have a lot of more free time. Right, Osman? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Who else? Okay, who else? To buy anything you want. Ah, yes, that's true. You will be able to buy anything you want. Thank you. Who else? Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Who else? Alguien más? Me, Jacqueline Teacher. Okay, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline. Uh, may get my own office ah. and, I, and be able to buy anything I want. Oh, you will be able to buy anything you want. Thank you, Jacqueline. Alguien más? Yes, we be sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Somebody else? Es el mismo versus. Ajá. Who else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Sí, mi teacher. Jovito. I will have more cash for new projects. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you, Jovito. Okay, who else? Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Thank you, Jovito. 
Vamos a ver, uh, no he escuchado a... Uh, oh, Miguel, Miguel, ¿did you say anything, Miguel? No. No, ok. Uh, I think if I have a good money, I, I put, I, I don't, I don't sure, how do you say, but I think I try. Uh, I put a business. Oh, for... ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, ok, I see. All right, thank you. Um, Javier, do you say anything, Javier? Maybe, teacher, I will have more cash to spend. Ah, you will have more cash to spend. Okay, thank you. All right, vamos a aprender how to do that. Okay, some possible situation. I need a volunteer to read the first one. Who wants to read the first one? This one. Me, yeah, Miguel. Can teacher. <laughs> uh, okay, Jacqueline, the first one. Miguel, this the second one. Vamos a ver, necesito cuatro Miguel. personas. Who? Who? Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, okay. Okay, Daniel, the third one. And what about the fourth one? El cuarto. Teacher. Who? Me, teacher. Who? Who, me? Me, Osman. Osman, okay, Osman, okay. Vamos, Jacqueline, the first one. If you get a high paying job, you will, you will have more cash to spend. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, the second one. If you have more cash to spend. Yeah, yeah, continue. You, you'll be able to buy anything you want. Thank you, okay. Uh, the third one. If you can buy anything you want, mm -hmm. you won't save your money. Thank you. Okay. And the last one. If you don't save your money, you may need another job. Okay. Thank you very much. If you see all of those <laughs> sentences are related. A lo mismo llegamos. A lo mismo llegamos. Exactly. Exactly. It says, if you get a high paying job, <laughs> you will have more cash to spend. If you spend more money, you will be able to buy anything you want. If you can buy anything you want, you won't save your money. If you don't save your money, you may need another job. Okay. Esas son condiciones. Okay, wait. Esas son así como condiciones que si pasa esto, ¿qué va a pasar lo demás? Okay. For example, okay, vamos a trabajar aquí ahorita. Okay. Vamos a trabajar en la primera oración juntos, all together. All right, a uh, sentence, I need a sentence right here. Uh, okay, the first one is if, and then I need a subject. Okay, look at my example. If uh, I, okay. yes, yes. A question, se puede trabajar igual acá, si vamos a hacer el futuro, se puede trabajar con, con, eh, pasados en el verbo? Yes. Uh, who is asking, Daniel? Para el tuviese. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí, okay, yeah. listen. Okay, definitely. Uh, unfortunately, uh, well, I can teach you that, but unfortunately, um, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm supposed to teach you uh, during this course is only the first one, the easy one. Okay, the easiest one. There are other ones, like you were saying, que puedo utilizar el presente, el pasado aquí, Yes, lo puedo utilizar, pero en este caso, ajá, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, if I had money, I will, if I have money, I would, um, what? I would buy a car, ¿sí? Si yo tuviera dinero, si yo tuviera dinero, compraría un carro. El otro es, if I had Um, if I had studied in the exam, um, for the exam or before, I would have passed the exam. See? Wow, this is aún más difícil. Si yo hubiera estudiado antes, yo habría pasado el examen. See, that is a little bit, a little bit complicated, more complicated. Ok, pero ahorita no voy a enseñar ese, ok. I'm not going to teach that one. So no worries about that one. 
Les voy a enseñar el normal. Ok. The first one is, if I do exercise, ¿qué pasaría si yo hago ejercicio? If I do exercise, I, uh -huh. I will be fitness teacher. I will be fit. Sí, very easy. Si yo hago ejercicio, estaré en forma. Ok. If, ok. If I am fit, ¿qué pasaría si yo estoy fit? If I am fit. I, I will am, be healthy, teacher. I will be healthy. Ok. If I am healthy, ¿qué pasaría? How can I say no me enfermaría, teacher? Ajá, ¿alguien sabe eso? I will, I will be one sick. No. I won't be. I won't. I won't be sick. sick. No estaré enfermo. Yes, teacher. Si no estoy enfermo, if I am not sick, ¿qué pasaría si yo no estoy enfermo? I will be live more. Ok. Uh -huh. I, I will live more. Viviré más. ¿Y qué pasa si yo vivo más? If I live more. <laughs> I will be immortal. I, will I be... won't be died soon. Mm, no, <laughs> pensemos en otro. If I live more, I will spend more money. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Ok. Do you get that? Do you get that? Ok, agarraron la idea. Very simple. Ok. So, if I do exercise, I will be fit. Ahora hagamos otra oración. If I eat too much, ¿qué pasaría si yo como mucho? If I eat too much, I will be sick. ¿Ah? Um, I will be very fat. I will be fat. Maybe. Okay, I will be fat. Okay. Vamos a ver. Si yo estoy enfermo, ¿cómo me dirían eso? Si yo estoy gordo, ¿cómo me dirían eso en inglés? Si yo estoy gordo. If I... If I... Um, if, I fat. if I am... If I am... Fat, am ¿Qué fat, pasaría fat. si yo estoy gordo? If I am fat, ¿qué pasaría? You are sick. You will be sick. I might get sick. Me, podré, me podría enfermar. ¿Ok? Ok, okay good. What about this one? Um, if I get can sick. drive. If I can drive, ¿qué pasa? If I can drive. Si yo puedo manejar. I will buy a car. Ok. I will buy a car. Exacto. Exacto. I will buy a car. All right. Lo que quiero que vean acá es lo siguiente. Miren. Si ustedes ven, as you can see, hay algo acá que es una coma. Ok. Vamos a ver dónde está la coma. No sé si ven la coma ahí. ¿Ven una comita que está por ahí? Aquí. Miren. ¿La ven? Yes, ¿Y saben por qué? Porque hemos comenzado la oración con el if. 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 ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, if I do exercise, coma. If I eat too much, coma. If I am fat, coma. If I can drive, coma. Ok. Look. But we can change that. Imagine, miren esta oración, la misma oración. I will buy a car if I if can I drive. drive. Sí, lo mismo. Ok, es exactamente lo mismo. Ok, compraré un carro si yo puedo manejar. Si yo puedo manejar, compraré un carro. Pero en este caso ya no va la coma. Exacto. I don't need a coma. Why? 
porque estoy comenzando con la oración, eh, la oración principal, the main sentence, I will buy a car. Ok, vamos a ver una, otra oración. Vamos no, a ver. no, this is a conditional sentence when you start with I will buy. Well, it is, it is, it is a conditional sentence. Because you say, I will buy a car if I can drive. Recuerda, la palabra condicional se refiere de que la otra oración depende de otra oración. Por ejemplo, yo voy a comprar un carro si tengo dinero. O sea, si tengo dinero, yo compraré un carro, ¿verdad? Por eso se llama condicional. Money. Yes. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, la otra es, si yo, esto, si yo como mucho, me engordaré. Me engordaré si como mucho, ¿sí? So, es una condición. One depends on the other one. Ok, por ejemplo, en el primero. Uh, si yo como mucho, me engordaré. ¿Están gordos? Uh, en esta oración. No. Solo ustedes, si yo como mucho, me voy a engordar. Uh -huh. Me imagino que una persona que esté eh, un poco pasadita de libra no va a decir, si como mucho me voy a engordar, porque ya, ya está gorda, ¿verdad? Ajá, por eso, por eso se llama con... <ríe> Por eso se llama condición. Puede engordar más. Ah, oh, ok. It can happen. O empeorará su salud. Ajá, o empeorará <ríe> su salud. Exacto. Muy bien. Ok. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Ok, tenemos seis minutos. Ok, let me continue. Tenemos seis minutos. Lo bueno es que no los conozco, así que no, no se vayan a sentir aludidos, ok. The good thing is I don't know who you are. Wow. No sé si son fit, no sé si son... Uh, Uh, I don't know, no sé si van al gym and that's good, I mean, I don't know ok ok, the first conditional ok, the first conditional talks about possibilities in the present uh, in the present or the future ok let's continue uh, what I need is if clause I need the if the subject and the verb And it says simple present, the main clause, and then the subject will and plus verb. For example, if I study, coma, ¿qué pasaría si yo estudio? Uh -huh. Hello. I will pass the exam. Yes. Esa es una condición, ¿verdad? Si yo estudio, yes. pasaré el examen, ¿sí? Ahora, cuando le doy vuelta, miren, I got number one and number two. Si cambio, si cambio qué, el número dos para acá y el número uno para allá, no coma, ¿sí? No coma. I will pass the exam if I study. En el primero, sí necesito una coma because I start with the if clause. If I study, coma. I will pass the exam. I will pass the exam if I study. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claro ahí? ¿Is that clear? Yes. Ok, we have uh, four minutes. ¿Ok? Tenemos cuatro minutos. ¿Ok? Good. Sure. ¿Is there any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Sí, sure. Yes, yes, Javier. The, there are... Other conditional sí, sentence. hay otros condicionales. Este es el primer condicional y es el fácil, es el sencillo. Si yo hago esto, pasa lo otro. ¿Ok? Está el zero conditional, está el first conditional y está el second conditional. Ok, por el tiempo eh, no se los podría explicar todos y pues el, el main focus today is this one, the first conditional, que es, if I study, I will pass the exam. Ok, pero sí It's hay otra. Like a advertencia, teacher. Ajá. The example one. Sí, exactly. Ok, pero puede hacer cualquier otra cosa. Por ejemplo, el, el, con lo que comenzamos fue, if I get a better job, si yo, tengo, si yo tengo un mejor trabajo, ¿qué pasaría? If I get a better job, ¿qué pasaría? I have more money. I will have more money. Ajá, good. Ok, 
If I have more money, ¿qué pasará if I have more money? If I have more money, I, I will. Mm -hmm. I will spend. spend I, will I, will buy, buy. I will buy more. Ok. I will buy more. Vaya, vamos a la, al siguiente ejemplo. Vamos a ver acá. Ok. Solo tenemos dos minutos. So I think it's not enough to complete this activity. Ok. Pero lo que quiero que I want you to complete la siguiente frase. Look at this one. If I, in the chat, voy a escribir en el chat ahorita. If I eat um, sugar. No, 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 no. If I run every day, I will. Okay, complete, complete the sentence. If I run every day, I will. Okay. I will, I be, will be fit. I will be fit. Uh -huh. I will be fit. ¿Qué más? I will be healthy. I will be healthy. Uh -huh. I will be feeling tired, teacher. Ah, I will, I will feel tired. tired. Sí, me sentiré cansado. I will, uh -huh. I will get better resistance. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. If I... Vamos a ver otro. If I watch a movie... ¿Qué pasaría if I watch a movie? Vamos a ver, tenemos un minuto. I will be relaxing. Ok. If I watch a movie. I will, I will enjoy. I will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Good. Vamos al otro. Rest. Ajá. Uh -huh. If I go out right now. ¿Qué pasará ahorita? I will spend money. I will kill it me. Oh, okay. If I go out right now, I will find somebody else. Uh -huh. I, will, I will go to sleep. I will go to sleep. Uh -huh. Etc. Okay. Son las nueve en punto. So uh, on Monday, no se preocupen. El lunes vamos a continuar hablando de este tema. Okay. So this is only the beginning. Okay. Yes. Oh my Voy a God. compartir la diapositiva. Yes, por yes, favor. yes. Eh, creo que alguien me preguntó. Creo que fue, no, no recuerdo si fue Javier. Ok, Javier, recuérdeme de la actividad, eh, del ejercicio, para darle seguimiento tal vez mañana en la mañana, porque tengo la otra clase en la cara. Run, basically. And yes, Miguel, send me a message in the WhatsApp group now, and uh, so that I can read it tomorrow and I can share this presentation with all of you. Ok. Okay, thank you. Okay, so thank you, everyone. Thank you, Javier, Jacqueline, okay. Jose, Osman, and Daniel. Have a great uh, night, okay? Good okay. night, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.